Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms and much much more. So, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting video. Now for today's video, we're going to cover two important topics. First one covers a scenario when you want to automatically schedule a query to run at a specific interval of time. For example, if you want a specific query to run every day for the next certain amount of period then you can do that using schedule queries in bigquery and the second topic that we're going to learn today is called stored procedures which will help you create a routine of multiple queries clubbed together which can be run on a single go so that you can make certain changes to your data or table or get a desired output using stored procedures so without any further ado, let's just quickly jump into it. To kick off things, we're going to start with scheduling a query. So here is a scenario. So let's say you have a table which is called open powerlifting here. Okay. And the link will be in the description in case you want to download the data. Now this data set contains a list of athletes and their certain attributes. And this particular table gets updated on a daily basis. Now you have a secondary table by the name of OPW female which is a subset of that table, which you want to update whenever that open powerlifting table gets updated. Okay. And you know, for a fact that every day at noon, open powerlifting gets updated. So you need to devise a plan so that after open powerlifting table is updated, your OPW female table should also get updated with the latest data. So how do we do that? So to do that, let's open up an editor window here. And in this, let's write our query. Now this query can be any query that you want. So I'm going to write a simple select statement here. Select star from open powerlifting where sex is equal to F and age is greater than 20 and equipment is equal to raw. Now I want this query to run every day so that whatever changes I have in open powerlifting gets updated here as well. So to do that, I'm going to click on this schedule button here and click on create new schedule query. Give it a name. You can give any name that you like. The frequency of repetition for me in this case would be days, but you have other options as well, like minutes, hours, weeks, months, etc. Okay. I wanted to run at 4.50 PM every day. Okay. So that's my start time. And you can also schedule it to end at a certain period of time, but I do not want that. You can keep this as default. So now if you see the prompt, it says schedule to run every day at 1650 UTC starting now. Okay. Now after this, the next section is destination for query result. Now I want the output of this query to be inputted into my OPW female table. So to do that, I'm going to click on this checkbox here. And the data set where the OPW female table exists is called powerlifting. I'm going to select this. The table ID is OPW underscore female. And in the next section, it's asking whether you wanted to append the query or you want to overwrite. I would like to overwrite the output into the table and keep the selection as automatic. Let Google select the location. Okay and I'm going to keep everything as default. You can also choose to have a email notification once your query has run, but I'm not going to do that right now. And then I'm going to save this right now in my system. The time is 4:49 PM. So in just few seconds, it should run my query and give the output into this OPW female table. Now, if you want to check whether your scheduled query has been executed successfully or not, there is a section here in BigQuery console environment, which says scheduled queries. Okay. Just click on the scheduled queries. You'll be able to see the list of queries that you have scheduled. And as you see, the female athletes query has been scheduled to run on April 24th, 4.50 PM. Okay. And if you click on this display name, you will see the transfer run is in progress right now. And if you click it once more, you will see that it's currently been executed. Now, if you see the 
status says completed successfully. So the data set within the OPW female table has been updated successfully. So I'm going to go back to my SQL workspace by clicking on this icon here. And if I go to the table, which is OPW female, I can see that the data has been updated. If you remember, the condition was sex female and equipment raw and age greater than 20. So that is exactly that we have here now in the output. So since we have scheduled it, now it will run every day at 4.50 p.m. and update the data set within this table using the Open Powerlifting Master Table. So now I hope you understood how you can schedule a query to run at a certain period of time. Now moving on to the second topic of the day, which is stored procedures. And the reason we use stored procedure is to create a routine or a create a set of instructions for SQL to run, which might have multiple smaller chunks of queries embedded within them to conduct certain operations. So to create a stored procedure, let's open up another editor window here. And the keyword for creating a new stored procedure is create procedure. And after that, write the name of the procedure. So you can write any name that you like and then close the statement with a opening and closing bracket. Come to the next line, make sure to give it an indent so that there is no confusion while writing the code. And the next statement is begin. Okay. And the procedure ends with the statement of end. Now, whatever statements that you write in between will be considered as a single routine. And when you try to run a procedure, all those queries will run one after the other. So let's imagine a scenario where you wanted to achieve the same result that you achieved with the schedule query that you did to OPW female, wherein you want to overwrite the existing data in OPW female with whatever data you have in open powerlifting at the current moment. So to do that, I'm going to first write a delete statement because I would like to first remove whatever data that I have in OPW female. So I'm going to write delete from OPW female where sex is not null. And then I'm going to end this statement with a semicolon because since stored procedures can have multiple queries in them, there should be a way to segregate those queries from one another, right? So semicolon is the way to do that. So now SQL knows that this delete statement ends at this semicolon. With this, I have deleted whatever data that I had in OPW female. Now I'm going to write a second statement, which would be an insert statement. Okay. And I'm going to say insert into OPW female. And the data that I want to insert will be coming from a select statement. So I'm going to say select star from open power lifting where sex is equal to F and equipment is equal to single ply. And the age would be less than 20. Okay. So earlier we had greater than 20. Now it would be less than 20 age. And I'm going to add a semicolon here as well so that I know that the insert statement ends here. So with this, you learned a new way to insert the data as well, because if you remember my previous video about insert statement, we learned how to insert a value using the values clause. Now, this is how you insert a value inside another table using the select statement. So I'm going to run this. But before running, I want to take your attention to one small error that it is giving. It says routine update at least must be qualified with a data set. So what it's saying is, before this name that you have entered, you need to enter the data set name. My data set here is called powerlifting. So I'm going to write powerlifting dot update athletes. Okay. Now the error has gone and I'm going to run this. Now, if you see BigQuery has automatically created a routine here and it has been segregated separately from the other tables. And this says routines. And within this, I have an update athletes here. And if you want to see what query is written within that, you can see it by clicking on this and you'll see here routine query. Okay. Now, obviously you can edit this query by clicking on this edit store procedure button. Now for now, we need to run this so that this OPW female table can be updated and the new conditions can take effect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up another editor here 
and within this i'm going to say call okay now call is a keyword used to run a existing stored procedure okay i'm going to say powerlifting dot update athletes because update athletes stored procedure exist within the powerlifting data set and then end the statement with a opening bracket and a closing bracket and i'm going to run this so my stored procedure is getting executed and at the bottom you can see uh, whether it has executed successfully or not now i'm going to click on this opw female and check if everything is working fine or not now in the preview section it says there is no data to display now this might be because the condition that we gave in the update at least stored procedure might not have fetched any results so let's just edit this first okay so now i clicked on edit stored procedure and instead of single ply i'm going to write raw and then i'll click on this run but before i click run if you notice earlier when we created that procedure we wrote create procedure right and then the procedure name but now when we are editing it says create or replace now what replace does is it checks whether a procedure with the same name already exist or not if it does then it updates that existing procedure so you can use this replace statement while you're creating a procedure in case you want to simultaneously check if a procedure exists or not and if it does then update that procedure instead of creating a new one so now i'm going to just run this and the procedure has been updated so let's go back to the editor window again and click on this run button where i have written call powerlifting update athletes okay so this will run the stored procedure and the queries within them now let's check if you have any results or not so i'm going to just go to the preview section now if you see i have some data here and the condition that we have written that's exactly what we have got in the output so i hope now it's clear how to create a routine and also how you can schedule a query to run at a specific period of time so that's it for today with this we mark the end of sessions related to bigquery let me know in the comment section if you want me to cover anything else within bigquery i would be happy to do that if you learned something new today then please consider subscribing to the channel and press that notification icon so that you don't miss any video that i upload and as always thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one